Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. In this quick video, I'm going to show you that how to use open AI APIs. If you really, really want to create a system or model, which is consuming the open AI APIs internally, or for any chat GPT AI model APIs you really want to consume, they have exposed their APIs. You just need to generate a token. And then on the basis of the uh, number of tokens that you are consuming, number of uh, prompts, and then the response text that you are getting on the basis of that, it will charge you and the charges are very, very minimal. So you just need to do one thing, simple, go to open AI API keys. First, we have to create an account for the open AI. So you can just create the account from the sign up here. I'm already having an account. So I'm going to log in directly here. And here you can see that, yeah, I'm already uh, logged in. I'm going to use, let's see, API documentation for that. So simple, go to API. Here you can see this is the account I've already logged in. Go to simple uh, manage account and all those things. You can just go and check it there. I'm going to click on view API keys. So these are the number of keys that uh, I have created. Obviously you cannot use my key. So you can just create a new secret key from here. But before that you have to create your uh, billing also. So you have to add your payment methods and everything. Set up your paid account from here. And whatever, if you're working on behalf of a company or uh, you are working as an individual, and then you have to give your card information and all those things. And then the uh, token wise, token means if you are is using let's see uh four characters is equal to one token and the prompt that if you are sending so on the basis of that they are uh okay charging for that let's see 0 0.01 dollar for 1000 tokens so that's a very minimal charges but you have to uh, pay for it okay so once this is done after that uh you cannot use it free that is uh that is for sure and then after that you simply go to the api key generate your api key and then that's it. After that, you go to their documentation and the API references also, you can go there and whatever, let's say I'm going to use a completion, create completion request, or maybe I really want to have a chat completion API. I really want to call it. These are the, uh, you know, uh, these are the curl commands are available. You can easily use it here. So I'm going to use, let's see one create completion API. This is a post call. And with this, so I have already created one a uh, post API here, you can uh, simply go and check it here. And uh, this is the post call and uh, this is the API URL. So here's the same thing you can see post call API URL. And here we need to supply, <clears throat> go to the body, click on raw and click on JSON from here. Once you, in the JSON, you have to pass two things here. First, you have to pass the model and the message. And in the message, you have to pass like, what is your role? So I'm performing role as a user or uh, there are three types of roles are available here. If you just slightly scroll down, then you will get uh, more information about it, that what are different other parameters you can pass it, but these are all our optional parameters here. You can check it here. Okay. So here you can see the model prompt and all those things along with the content type authorization token and everything you can pass it here. There are a uh, list of models. Also, you can just simple go and check it. There are a list of models. And uh, if you go to once again, our API here, so here you can see the three types of role system, user and assistant and the content. And that's it. These are the two required mandatory fields in this particular message array. We have to supply. Perfect. So let's simple. This is a model. Let's see that I'm using it. You can write chat GPT 4.0 or anything. If you really want to search for the uh, models also, you can go with that. So you can just simple go to a uh, chat GPT uh, model uh, list. You can search it on Google and, uh, it will give you the complete documentation about it. So here you can see these are the models, GPT-4, 3.5 and all those things. You can just use them anywhere. And these are the model uh, names, okay? GPT-4 and all those things. You can use any of them. For example, let's see, we are using this one, GPT-3.5 uh, Turbo. Uh, that is the latest one. Maybe it's not listed here. See here, you can see GPT-3.5 Turbo. Let's say I really want to use GPT-4 model so I can use this uh, GPT-4 model also instead of Turbo. So let's use GPT-4 here. Row equal to user and what is the content? So see this, create a list of all Java keywords. Simple. That's a prompt that I'm sending. Once you send it and you are getting a response here and okay, it's saying GPT-4 model right now does not exit. Let's do one thing again, back to our 3.5 Turbo only and let's send it again. And once you send it, the exact response that you get on the web chat GPT, same thing you are getting it over here. But if you really want to consume the API, you have to pay for it. So here you can see that prompt around uh, 15 
and the total uh, tokens in the response used 115. And these are the keywords list that I'm getting it here. So this is a abstract Boolean break while loop and all those things we are getting it here like this. Okay. So this is simple use of uh, API with respect to a uh, chat GPT in the postman. You can use it and then you can just check and test it all your APIs with respect to chat GPT. That's all for this particular video. I hope you like it. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.